Now, to tie in nicely with Nat's exercises from week two, we're going to be looking at rotation and that really hard move, isn't it? That one where we sort of crowd the golf ball and stand up. Now, I've actually found that the if you accompany the exercises we do in the fitness aspect and work on this element from home, taking this to the range, then filtering onto the golf course becomes a lot easier. So, we're going to use the wall, but you can also use a chair. I'm going to talk it through this aspect, but we can also see this on the down the line aspect after this element. So what I'm doing is I'm getting into posture. I'm just going to shuffle back into the wall where I feel the wall is one fingertip away from the back of my bum. What we're looking for here, really listen closely to the sequence. We're looking to make a rotation in this backswing. And I like just to keep my arm out in front of me like that. Rotation this backswing where we put our right back pocket onto the wall, so I can feel a bit of pressure in there. I'm now starting down, trying to keep my chest this way, and move my middle of my bum onto the wall, then my left bum cheek on. Now look how naturally that sort of dragged my upper half through. There was no movement out, there was no standing up, because you can really see that straight away. This element of this drill is great for one, eliminating, eliminating early extension, but feeling that real core, that separation between lower and upper, and I would say, and this is something that I want you to listen closely to, do this as slow as possible. I don't want this to be like, yeah, I've done my reps, done it really quick. I don't think that has much benefit to us here. I want you to really feel and exaggerate each and every element of that just as I have here. Now, I mentioned you could do this with a chair. Have a look at this from the down the line perspective now. You can see I'm starting one fingertip away from the chair and I'm feeling as though I'm putting my right cheek on back to the middle left cheek on. Again, I want to reiterate this, we're doing this at a slow speed, really trying to feel that separation element to start the downswing and work on that power move into impact. And the final element to this week two set of videos is I would say, watch your rotation in the mirror from the down the line perspective and from the face on perspective. Unfortunately, at many driving ranges, we don't have access to a mirror, so you can really pay attention to your body motion, having the butt end of the golf club working down towards the ground, not standing up, but also from the face on perspective, going face onto the mirror, you can see if your swaying or rotation is working correctly from backswing to downswing. Thanks so much for watching. I know those exercises are really gonna help you. I look forward to seeing you in week three.